Hospice, serving Davis and Wapello counties, held a ribbon cutting in open house this morning to celebrate the reopening of its facility on Pennsylvania Avenue in Ottumwa. We had a fantastic open house today and we are officially reopened, which is our six patient um, inpatient facility here at Hospice House. And um, we're just really excited to serve Wapolo and Davis counties again and being able to bring families and patients back into a more controlled environment should they need to manage pain in that way. Meg Benj is a medical social worker at Hospice. She says the facility is open once again and ready to serve. So we not only serve um, patients and families again here in the hospice house, um, just off Pennsylvania next to the hospital, um, but we also can go into our patients' homes or wherever they are calling home. So if that is a um, nursing home, an assisted living facility, um, a loved one's home or their own, we can serve patients in any of those spaces. Benj talks about the factors that shut the building down in 2020. Our six um, bed inpatient facility, which we call Hospice House, was shut down in 2020. And that was in part due to um, COVID, and it was also in part due to staffing. And now we've had a little time off. We were able to retrain and um, gain some new nurses and new employees to be able to reopen it 24 7. Bench says there are various services Hospice offers. We have inpatient services. Um, we do general inpatient. We can also do respite and then also the caring for families and patients um, in their home setting as well. So respite is a benefit, um, as is hospice in general, of anyone who receives Medicare. So it's free to the family and the patient. It's part of your benefit um, to be on hospice. You just have to have that diagnosis of six months or less. And then respite um, is a free five-day stay in a facility like ours. Um, so that's five days a month that you get to um, stay in our facility with no room and board fee. Um, should someone want to stay in hospice, you still get the hospice benefit here in Hospice House, but there is a room and board fee outside of that respite stay. Ben says hospice will begin taking in patients tomorrow. For Atama Radio News, I'm Ellis Kojo.